Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh once again. Welcome back to the th second episode of the night. I am doing back to back reviews. I have done one video which I was doing for the like channel, but I uploaded in my group Fraccom Bangladesh. So if you are on Facebook, of course, most of you are, I guess. You can join my page fa uh, on Facebook, not page, my group uh, called Fraccom Bangladesh. I'll leave the link below. There we do most of this discussion and I spend most, most of my time in the group interacting with members, end of the day, stuff like that. So today I'm going to do a miracle fragrance and I've never used that term before but I'm going to be using this term on particular fragrances. The reason being, let me explain to you, um, some of the fragrances, you know, you when you start your fragrance journey and then, you know, you saw a lot of reviews back in 2014, you know, 15 and those are the times fragrances were like, you know, hyped to the max and a lot of wonderful reviews were coming out where you learn lot of things from uh, reviewers and uh, you have a lot of memories of so you basically what you did what I did most of you also did I believe you took pen and paper you wrote down everybody's top 10 summer fragrance winter fragrance spring uh, best compliment garner you know and you took down what are the common ones so you kind of figured out those were liked by most of the reviewers means they were the big names in the fragrance industry at that time being well at that time particular time and I did the same I have about 100 fragrances I listed down I bought them almost all of them except a few ones and those are uh, hard to find this got discontinued like Gucci Rush Gucci Envy I'm talking a little bit more because this episode I told you it's gonna be a miracle episode and then you know I had a similar list like somewhere 2002 or 3 one of my best friends he wrote me his favorite 100 films of all time some of the best fragrances not fragrance films like the Shawshank Redemption, the Green Mile, Terminal. Uh, you know, like I learned basically about films after my friend gave me the list. I finished watching 98 films out of those hundred films. So you can understand one thing that I actually like taking down. You know, making lists and take them down one by one. So this is one of the fragrances I wanted in my fragrance journey since last year when I saw reviews were out in winter. So finally, I have the fragrance. It's called 1821 Sweet Tobacco Spirit, man-made. I think that's the whole name. Uh, if I could be wrong, uh, Sweet Tobacco Spirits, man-made, and it's for unisex purpose. And 2016 release. Recently, one of my brothers oh. brought it from USA, I guess, and I saw it moment and I took it. So some of the fragrance very super rare to find. I never thought I would get it. Like Avant Garde, I recently also found it from one brother. Fahrenheit 32, Absolute, Aqua. So these are some of the fragrances I call miracle fragrances. So let's review this one, the miracle fragrance. Uh, I had huge expectations from it uh, because I love the note of tobacco. Uh, and I thought Sebastian Zara would have reviewed it, but no, I think Steven's review I saw. And I really highly recommend Sebastian Zara. If you never tried it, try this fragrance out because this is one of the best tobacco fragrances hands down ever made. And I'm gonna give you a lot of other uh, examples, at least few handful, uh, which I reviewed in the past time which if you love those, you're gonna love this. And to accompany me, I have some fine Ceylonese tea with me, tea from Sri Lanka. Uh, these are some of the best tea leaves in the world. So let's start the review after three minutes of talk. Here is the box. I think they come in like 50 and 100 ml. I could be wrong about that. If you see this box for the first time, it will look like a tester box and something very cheaply made, but actually they went conceptually. They made it like sort of a, kind of like winery or I think it's something to do with winery, fine winery, or they work with uh, cigars, I'm not sure. So the presentation, they try to follow that. And they have the seal here, the name. This is EDP, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, EDP concentration. Um, well, it's not mentioned. I'm guessing it's Parfum or EDP, one of them. And they have the like nice sort of detailing here, like looks like a dollar bill. And under, they have another seal. And then in the back, they said, uh, do not apply on recently shaven skin okay bottle looks really lovely it looks like a german bottle i don't know it looks like it's made in germany <laughs> i don't know why um the fragrance uh, i don't know where it's made in actually i haven't checked um this is made in usa sorry yeah there you go it says in USA. but the bottle looks like something the germans would make it looks like a nuke <laughs> i don't know why with the warhead and stuff like that looks pretty cool really lovely bottle uh, honey colored juice it has sort of this uh this thing like the sticker thing all, all over the bottle the cap looks like a bullet also sometimes very nice snug fit cap you can pick it up cap has good quality bottle has great quality in it and here is the batch code 
So let's spray this and talk about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, okay? Uh, this fragrance, uh, if you happen to love, let me tell you the names before I review it. If you, if you happen to love Tobacco Vini by Tom Ford, this is kind of like younger brother to that. If you like Pure Heaven, Nexos, which I'm about to review next. If you like uh, Mancera, Red Tobacco. If you like uh, By Killian, Black to Black, which I'm yet to review. And then I think uh, Cartier Lenvol, if you love the EDP, if you love the honey note in that, if you also like avant-garde, the bee wax, sort of these kind of fragrances, then Herod and Wajan by Parfum de Marly, which I also reviewed. Definitely check out this fragrance. This is a beautiful, beautiful tobacco fragrance, which is not mentioned in Fragantica, which I am kind of surprised, okay? So I am wearing something on my hand, so I cannot spray it on the top of that fragrance. I just reviewed Musky Garden, and I usually like to spray on my left hand. But yeah, I'm going to be spraying this on the paper just to give you a fair review inside. It's going to be atomized, it's going to be white. The fragrances, I think they go for somewhere between $69 to $86, depending on where you're buying it from. But make sure you buy from legit sources. It's not cheap, but it's not super expensive. I think it's a niche perfume. So let's spray this and talk about it. Beautiful, beautiful sprayer. Gives out beautiful uh, distribution. This is a good fragrance. Uh, people say unisex, but I would say yes, it, it's a good unisex perfume, but very strong and it's for both genders for the cooler night time. Even if it's not cooler night time, make sure it's a night time wearing. This is an ideal fragrance to wear for a mysterious occasion. This hands down one of the most beautifully crafted fragrance I ever sniffed. Before I review it, I'm giving it 10. Why? Now let me explain why is it a perfection in bottle. This fragrance some people who are looking for a beast mode fragrance, this is a beast mode fragrance, no problem. But if you're looking for a smoky sort of a tobacco, this is not a smoky tobacco. It has that red wine accord. So it's kind of like the vino, you know, like a red wine is very rich. It smells a little bit like, not bitter, it feels like a little bit sour, like when I smell red wine. It smells like sour when you do that with the glass. And when you taste it, it at first it will go a little bit sour, the winey taste, you know, the red wine. The back of your tongue, it will taste like the sweetness will kick, you know, like it will come back. So that's the kind of sweet uh, wine, red wine sort of feel you get from this in the opening. At first, I did not detect it. What I got is like beautiful honey. It's very prominent. First note, I would say most prominent is honey. Everybody who smelled it, they said honey. This, that's the first thing they got. Extremely sweet, lovely, gooey honey. <laughs> and then that wine accord. Then... Another thing that hits me, it gets a little bit powdery. So if you're not a big fan of powdery scents, like uh, I have Mansara uh, Wild Cherry, and if you know some of the cherry-based fragrances like Low Medial EDP, that has a beautiful cherry note. Uh, think if you are not a big fan of cherry, this one has a little bit of the cherry tobacco feel that you get from honey cherry tobacco that Pure Havan gives you, but it's not as a beast mode projector as those. This one will last on you eight hours on the skin okay even pushing further but it will never become nuclear when you spray for the first time it, it might seem like it's gonna be big it's gonna be huge the brother who gave it to me uh, he said he was not happy with this performance but he has really like challenging uh, kind of like situation that where his fragrances do not last on him that much he needs like even Shura doesn't last on him so he said I'm selling it off would you take it I said yes so the thing is Projection is one thing, longevity is another one. If you want a long-lasting perfume, this is a long-lasting perfume. But if you're looking for beast mode, projector, nuclear kind of perfume, go for Shura. Go for red tobacco. They're going to give you the smoky, dirty, ashy feel, which you're not going to find here. This fragrance starts going very, very smooth. On the dry down, it just goes very, very impressive. Uh, one fragrance, I'll keep it above this one, the, from the tobacco ones that I smell, is Nexus, which I'm going to review very, very soon from your job okay and i'm really need to smell the black to black because it gets compared to that so quality on this people say it's like uh so good it's not as good as black to black or tobacco Vini. i can see i have small sample of tobacco Vini. i reviewed it thanks to brother ananda mustafi he gifted me one tobacco Vini, it's a bit too much on the dry down this one's gonna go vanilla a little bit sweetness i think what musk and tonka heavy on tonka and gives you kind of like a powdery feel but it's not as powdery as tobacco Vini. Tobacco Vini has this kind of like a spicy, cinnamony sort of a affair going on. It's kind of spicy tobacco with vanilla. This is not as loud as that, okay? Which makes it very, very wearable. You can wear it 
for close encounters you can wear it for like a far coat which you shouldn't wear far <laughs> but uh, if you're wearing like a nice overcoat in a cold weather it's so comforting guys if, you, if you're going for a classy dinner with turkey there's gonna be wine served you know uh, people are gonna be like a like it's a high class occasion this is a high class perfume okay quality through and through and as the time progresses it gets better and better on skin i can smell every single note in this fragrance it's almost also has a feeling of uh what's the other one um uh serge lutens shergi shergi has a beautiful uh similar vibe to this but shergi is a lot more daring and this is a lot more lovable so i had shergi uh, it has a hay vibe kind of more darker and gothic this is much more uh like a almost like a royal family sort of fragrance like Ben Halligan's if they made a uh, very nice uh, fragrance that is upper class this is very upper class it smells way more expensive than what you pay for so definitely a fragrance worthy of checking out get a sample go get a I don't know decant of it go try to test it to your nearby uh, shops if they have this one uh, if you want a blind buy if you like all those fragrances pure heaven and uh, red tobacco and everything Herod um, Ojan this can easily easily be in those bunch it's those league okay so definitely this is why you see i have not complained about a single thing about this fragrance it met all the expectations that i had it just hit all those points right all the notes it hit right amount so perfect balanced perfectly smooth and it's better than pure heaven in such a way that it's not as uh, like pure heaven can get a little bit uh, too strong too masculine this has the fine balance between like a fine tuning has been done to this fragrance so it's kind of like has the niche feeling about it overall 10 out of 10 performance no issue uh, projection also you'll get great projection for two hours and then it's gonna come like two to three feet but it will last extremely long time on your skin check out 1821 man-made sweet tobacco spirits one of the best uh, sweet uh, boozy in that wine way it's a boozy uh, sweet vanilla tonka sort of base amazing little fragrance guys you know like if you love tobacco you need to check this fragrance out okay so this is my review on this beautiful perfume and i believe brother belal sharif want to see a review i hope i could do justice and to the brother who passed me this fragrance you want to see a review as well hopefully i have done justice to it check it out and then uh, have a very nice day and very nice weekend ahead bye bye